The true test, can you do it without looking? No. Ow, that's metal. Why did I do that one? Ow. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So today I want to take back and just chill and just do some crypto art and hang out with you guys. Recently, I got a custom order on my website. Yeah, I have a website. Wow, look at that. I almost forgot to. I'd like a Boba Fett action shot. Guns and jetpack blazing. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started on this. And Gabe, I hope you really enjoy this grip tape because I put a lot of work into it and I absolutely love it. And I'm sad to see it go, but I hope you like it. And hit that like button if you're excited. To the video! So I usually start off by throwing out all bad pens. And then start with the base of just white ink. Realizing that I don't want to mess up the proportions, I make a cutout. Make a couple dots. Hey, it's me. And fill it in. The speech recognition model that Google uses worked very well. Uh, and that's how you spill your water. <laughs> Learning from experience, I found out always go light to dark colors because, you know, most paints, you can use dark colors on top if the paint's dry, but paint markers, they do blend a lot. So I end up just blending a ton of colors together and hopefully getting the right suit color that I want. Yeah, and that's the fun part. This is literally just coloring. I'm just making the different shades that I want. So I'll go ahead and lay down a base color and then add some shadows, some grays, some whites, add the highlight and shadows. Yeah. And also, trying to find out the right green for Boba Fett was so hard to blend the right amount of silver with green and a little bit of teal. It was a hassle, but managed to make it work. Slow mo. Day two on the drawing, I ended up going to sleep because I was so tired and I did not want to mess this thing up. Got some much needed rest and got right back to it. Kept adding the layers of shadows as well as the highlights. It's, it's tedious, it's very tedious, but at the very end, it is so satisfying to see all that hard work pay off. Going from seeing just the white blob that you're adding all your colors to, to actually seeing some details and definition is so cool and just so satisfying. I've had this black marker forever and I've cut the pen tip down to basically the bone, using every last drop that I can of it because some pens get to that perfect point and you get the best fine lines as you can see. I had a time. Yeah, this thing is super sweet. I, I'm so jealous. I kind of wish I'd made this for myself, but 
I'm so happy that someone's gonna get this and hopefully love it and skate with it as long as they can. This just brings me back to when I first started doing grip tape art. If I showed myself this one versus some of my very early work, it's unbelievable how much I've learned by just teaching myself and throwing myself into it. But that's it. And the final review. Uh, this thing turned out way better than I expected. I'm trying a few things new, trying something new with the video as well as a few techniques I tried differently and super happy with the results. Always sad to let these go. When I do a custom order, it's it's always so fun because I put so much effort into them because I don't want them to get something that they're not gonna like or enjoy because you know, on your skateboard, that's what you're looking at. You're looking at your grip tape and you want it to be something you love, something you're passionate about. And I wanted to make sure I did my best. I wanted to use all of my abilities to make Boba Fett look sweet. Blasters blasting, jetpacks blast. Blasters zapping, jetpacks blasting. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me for a little bit and doing some art. I had a blast. Thank you so much for giving your time and hopefully you learned a little technique or two if you do grip art yourself. It's like a WWF belt. So. Also, huge thank you to the best, board sticks. These things rule. If you guys wanna check these out and use my promo code Ryan15 at checkout, you will not regret it. These things are amazing. I love them. And as you guys see, I use them to the very, very last drop. Highly recommended. I back these things 100%. Also, if you guys want me to paint on your grip, like so, uh, go to my website. All the links are down below in the description. Huge thanks to Gabe for ordering this sheet of grip tape. Enjoy your sandpaper. Hopefully now you're gonna be blasting some kickflips and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.